Hey, what's happening guys? Today I've got something that's just a little bit different from you, for you. And this video is sponsored by PCB Way. Now, if you've been following me for a while, in some of my uh, PCB Way videos, I've mentioned that they do 3D printing as one of their different rapid prototyping services. So all you have to do is send them your CAD file. I send them an STL file. Pick the material you want it out of and they can print it. It takes a few days longer than their PCB service, but if you don't have a 3D printer, that's pretty cool. Now what we did here was FDM, uh, Fused Deposition Modeling, which is what your basic, you know, heat the filament and squeeze it out type of 3D printing does. There are other types, and we'll check them out later on. So you can see here all the different things they have, and here's their maximum build size. 19.68 inches by 19.68 inches by 19.68 inches. You know, that's a 20 inch cube. That's pretty big. Dimensional accuracy is plus or minus 0.5% and a layer height of 100 to 300 micrometers with infill of 20 to 100 percent. Different materials. Now for ours, we used um, nylon. They will even finish the model for you. Spray painting, polishing, electroplating, they'll inlay nuts, glazing, reinforce coating, they'll test it. You know, anything you want, they'll do it for you. And like I said, it takes just a little bit longer, but if you don't have a 3D printer and there's something you need 3D printed, this is an excellent and affordable service. So let's take a look at the model I sent them and we'll uh, see how they did. So this is the model I selected, and I'll put a link to it down below. It is from All3DP, and this is called the All-in-One Printer Test File. And like it says here, it's what it says. It, it has overhangs, bridges, stringing, temperature, belt tension. It tests every part of your model, and it was designed by Maj Majda107. All right, let's take a look at the actual model. So here she is. All right. So my overall impression on the uh, quality of it is it's really nice. See 3D printer test, overhang test all the different angles we have different sizes here I that was supposed to be in there can't quite tell so I've got calipers here and we're going to test it out we'll zero them out here so this first one should be six millimeters. Five point eight seven. This one should be four. Three point eight six. This one should be ten. Nine point eight five. And this one should be eight. 7.9 so they're, they're very consistent let's take a look at some of the inner diameters from the holes this one should be eight millimeters 7.95 this should be six millimeters 5.88 should be four 3.95 so again while it's off a little bit it is quite consistent now let's take a look at these. First one should be 25 millimeters. And get it on there. That overhang's kind of messing me up. Twenty-six point nine six. Got twenty-five for the inside. I bet you that's what it is, huh? Yep. 
That's the inside diameter of the bridging test. So 24.58. Not gonna be able to get in there. Let's tech let's uh let's test these ones here. This should be about 10 millimeters. 10.03. This one should be 20. 20.1. This one should be 30 millimeters. 29.93. Now here's the same test at another angle. And if your printer isn't set up perfectly, this these can come out differently. So here we have 9.95, and here we have 9.98. So you see there is a difference of 0.3 millimeter. Text this one here. This is our 20. Oops. 19.93, and here. Twenty point twenty point two. Wow, am I getting something else on there? Okay, nineteen point eight nine. That's better. And then we have thirty. Twenty nine point nine five. And this one here. Twenty nine point nine three. So it's very well set up and everything is coming out pretty well like that. I like that. It's very good. So then we have these guys here, which I'm, I'm really not going to be able to measure because I can't get above them and below them. Overall impression of this is quite nice. Again, this is nylon. I submitted this in PLA and they told me they, they couldn't do it in PLA, but they wanted to do it in nylon and that's fine. Now, the one thing I do notice, I'm going to zoom in here, you can see that writing there didn't quite come out. Same there, but those are very, very narrow, so that's okay. I wouldn't really expect them to come out that well. These overhangs are excellent. Very nice. Let's see. Big enough, I can get in there. Yep. So we are at 99.98 in that direction. 99.88. 99.85. I'm <laughs> getting different readings. 99. 99.8 so it's very close I don't know the make or model of the 3d printer they use but you know it's excellent work and again the time frame is reasonable a little over a week and the one last thing that I want to show you here is the price itself is pretty reasonable there's the 3d printing ten dollars now that doesn't include shipping. Shipping for all these, all these. I, I, I had a bulk order of some boards that I made. Shipping for all these things was a little bit more expensive, but hey, that's pretty cool. So if you don't have a 3D printer and there's some 3D printing that you want done, I urge you to check out PCBWay and uh, send them your business. They do, as you can see here, very nice work, very timely, at a very affordable price. Maybe next time we'll check out some of the uh, resin printing. Well, if you guys like this, and I hope you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. A big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring these videos. Without them, I wouldn't be here for you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.